Yo. Hey guys. Sorry about the hold up there. What's up? What up, Julian? Yo, Michael Butler. Hello, man. Yo, Juicy. Yo, Lancey. What's up? RIP Mike. Nah, it's all good. We got it working now, Ghost Chatter. What up, James? How are you guys doing? How how are you guys doing? That's what I meant to say. Wow. We have some no sound. Now there is sound, hopefully. If there still isn't sound, though, that sucks. But this little thing is working, so I think there is sound. The giving away production sound secrets, are they still secrets? Well, there's still secrets to many people who aren't watching the stream. That's for sure. So, you guys... It's more like you get production exclusive tips, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm pulling up this project file. I'm pulling up this project file that I made yesterday. It's pretty tight. I think you guys I think you guys should like this. Pretty chill stone. Ah, I see Ghost Chatter. Well then you will enjoy the song I'm about to play you. Gang gang gang. Gang gang man friend, what's up? How have you been? I've been good. So uh, all right, well, anyway, yeah, I'm in good. I got this thing that I've been working on since yesterday. I've got another track I can play you guys too. But yeah, this is basically, I took the thing from yesterday's tutorial, the Dense and Pika tutorial project or whatever, and I basically made it into this. The only elements that I have from that original project file are actually just these things. <laughs> but yeah, and then I added some stuff. So I'll show you kind of what's going on here. And then I'll keep it playing. Um, so basically what we got here is, first off, I have this kick, which is made using a 909. Like, this is the sample that I'm starting with here. And then, yeah, I put it in a sampler. I shortened it a little bit. Or I put it in a simpler, I guess you would say. I shortened it a little bit. Do I have a... No, I don't. Um, but I did shorten it a little bit with the amplitude envelope, as I've said three times now. And I added a pitch envelope to it, so that's where you, uh, that's where you get that, like, <laughs> some heavy sounds. Thank you, Ghost Chatter. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, but anyway, yeah, so then after that, I got a saturator, and then we've got the Julian Earl Techno Kick Rack, which is just made, just the reverb, it's just the two chains, the dry chain, and the wet chain, reverb, distortion, low pass filter, pretty simple. And then I've got another saturator at the end of that, which actually makes a pretty big difference. If I turn this off, you can hear it's like not as powerful. And you can also hear that's kind of like giving that that rumble a little bit more like of a grungy sort of texture. And then I got that going into the low pass filter here, which is or this not low pass filter the EQ8. I just woke up, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but yeah, the EQ8 with a bit of a low-end boost. And then I have this G channel on, or this SSL channel on here, but I'm not using it. I think it's just a little too much because you don't really get the bass from the kick with that. Um, but then I have this SSL EQ on here. And I'm basically just using this, honestly, to boost a lot of things. Um, like I'm boosting the low-end, boosting the high mids, and then boosting the highs. But if I turn this off, you can hear it makes a huge difference. And actually, how do you get your kick to thump like that, or thump so much? This is actually a good, good thing here. So if I turn this off, you can hear it's very dull sounding. But when we bring that in, that's what really brings out that, like, punch. Like, this works too. This is definitely, like, I wouldn't say this is bad if somebody made this and sent it to me. But it's not as powerful as that. So yeah, that's how I made the kick. Then you should get the Ozone Imager plugin for free from the Is Isotope website. It's good for widening kicks. True, I usually keep my kicks pretty mono to be honest with you. I guess I already have it actually. I guess you could like put the highs in stereo or something. Let's actually see like how stereo this kick is. Oh wow. 
Okay, yeah, so that is like completely mono. And so there's nothing to make sure. I'm actually not surprised because I do have the amp in mono. If I put this on dual. See, the thing is, though, all that we're getting through this is just, like, the low end. And we really don't want the low end to be super wide. So, yeah, probably not ideal there. So, yeah, I made this thing, too. So, it's this ARP that I made. If I turn off some of these effects, you'll be able to, like, actually hear it. Well, actually, I'll just show it to you. Um, but basically, it's just this ARP that I made where it's doing a pretty simple thing around this, like, F minor chord. We're going, like, F. It's just doing 16th notes, and then it does, like, these jumps. That's just the F, and then the third, G sharp, and then the fifth, C. Pretty simple there. Um... But then it kind of like jumps up as well, like here. You know, it's just kind of like adding extra notes into there. Nothing really too crazy. And then I'll put that exact same MIDI on this patch in ARP 2600. And I did some effect stuff to it. But it sounds like this. So kind of a cool way to get like an interesting like ambient sort of sound, I guess. Um, also, can you please enter this? How do you get the kick to thump so much without going into the red zone and without ruining frequencies? Uh, I mean, it's really just like, for me at least, like my process, like saturation and stuff like that. Like, for example, okay, here, if I turn off all the saturation on this and we just have, and we just have, even if we just have like this stuff, so we've got the rumble, and we've got the SSL EQ. But you can hear, yeah, when I turn those off, it's really not, really not thumping that hard. Feels pretty weak. Darf and stuff. Hey, thank you, Rebus. I appreciate it. Um, But yeah, when we put this back on, Yeah, it's really the saturation. I mean, the thing is, that's not the only way to do it. Like, there are other ways in which that you in which you can do this. Like, one technique I like to use, for example, is like I'll put a limiter at the end of the chain. So, say we turn off those saturators, and then we put this limiter on it. You can hear it's not quite as powerful, but it does have a similar kind of power to it, you know, it does, it does get the job done a bit, um, but yeah, like, it's, it's really just kind of taking the kick, and, like, this stuff is basically, like, putting a kick, and even, like, putting a 909 into the reverb with the amp and the auto filter, that stuff is out there, like, that information is easy, it's not that hard to do that, you can do that, but to, like, really take it to the next level is to, like, add stuff like these saturators. So yeah, Michael Butler, saturated soft clipper. Yeah, also that. Thanks, I donate if I weren't. Ah, it's okay, Ghost Cutter. Giorgio, Georgie, what's up? How's it going, man? Sorry I called you Giorgio. <laughs> um, but yo, how's it going, bro? I am going to post on my Instagram story that I'm live real quick. Nice, okay. Thank you for bearing through that for a second there, guys. But yo, is there anything you guys want to see today? If you want to send through some submissions, I can check them out. I want to work on this track. And try to give it like a bit of a structure. I mean, school has mood. Mood is good. I'm good. Like I said, 
I just woke up and it's like 3.36 p.m. here, so that's not ideal. But other than that, I'm doing all right. Okay, so how should we start this track out? Maybe with like the kick. Maybe I should get a reference track at this point. Although honestly, this track kind of is good. All right, and then we'll cut out the shaker in this part. And we'll have that. And maybe we'll start, I have this other ARP down, and it's not really an ARP, it's kind of just a synth that's playing 16th notes down here. that come in i don't know do you always make music like this or is it different all the time um no i make stuff like this pretty frequently all right i don't like that start at all that's bad copy this stuff um but yeah i mean i don't know i just make whatever i feel like all right yeah i don't really feel like trying to structure this right now i'm gonna pull up this other one that i made yesterday Tell me what you think of this. This is also techno though, so chances are if you like that last track, you will also like this one. My dudes. Alright, nice, I opened. So this one is a lot more like loops. <laughs> but I did some stuff to it that is definitely like unique. Here's what this sounds like. <laughs> make gabber all the time but um today i decided to make techno because i figured it's kind of similar but like you know it's a little bit more finesse it's not just look 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 he's the biggest yeah don't you know i'm bringing gabber to the people I thought gabber was for scottish people it is but i'm bringing it to america <laughs> okay so this thing is made whatever it's called Using two loops. So basically, I had this loop. That thing. And I took that little... That little part. And then I pitched it up a bit. You can see it's... Yeah, all that. I just put it in the key of this other sample. And then this one... Is also in there. And then what's happening... <laughs> well, have you heard the song Along Came Polly by Rebuke? I'm trying to figure out the synth in that and I'm just struggling. Bradley, send to the email. I think I've heard of I think I've heard that track before. But yeah, so basically what's happening is I'm making this sort of like loop by combining these two. Because you hear on the two and the four this thing. You hear that, so it's not just this loop. It's like a very small detail there. Um, hey, yo, Costa, what's up? Good to see you. How are you? Um, but then on the group here, I've got a bit of processing as well. I've got some saturation, as you would imagine. I've got a guitar rig here, which is just doing this echo. I've got some reverb, and then I have an LFO tool. So yeah, kind of like an interesting way to like put things together and make a cool synth out of that. And I think I also pitched this. Yeah, I pitched these both. So, you know. What's up? Not much. Just making some techno. Taking a break from my usual uh, gabber type type beats. <laughs> Glad to finally catch you live. Thank you, Costa. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Have you just been busy lately? Here's like the kick and bass line. This is a bass from a sample pack, although I did change it a little bit because there was this little part.
where it goes down a a note there at the end. But I changed it so it would just be like it would just stay on the same chord there. So I guess that's something. Um, I did a little bit of stuff with the fades to do that. You can see. Um, but yeah, the this is like really more about processing. Like basically, what happened was I just took this kick and this bass line and put them together, and they did not sound that good when I had them at the start. Like if I play these two without the processing. You can hear definitely a lot weaker than than it was a second ago. So the first thing I've got on there is the Shep's parallel particle. As you can see, I turn up the thick and I turn up the sub. That really helps. And then on top of that, I got an SSL channel. And I've got it on this kick setting. And it sounds pretty solid. Yeah, techno. Yeah, I think that's a cool little track. But yeah, so like I said, definitely a huge difference between this and this. And I think this kick was from like some deep house pack or something. Yeah, it's from this 90s deep house. But it has like that cool attack to it. You can even... Yeah, I had a bit of a pinch on the Yeah, I am, man, Fred. I just got another. One. I I just got one, so I'll pull that up in a sec. Um, but yeah, I am definitely send through tracks if you guys want to get some some critiques today, guys. The positivity has me inspired. I'm gonna jump on Ableton. All right, peace out, Ghost Shatter. Have fun. Thanks for coming through. <laughs> I kind of want to start something from scratch, to be honest. I feel like recently I've, like, unlocked the secrets <laughs> of, like, processing. Like, I used to just have my songs be, like, very dry. Like, it would just be, like, like good samples, but I would just drop them in and try to get them sounding as powerful as they needed to without, like, any processing on them. And then just recently, I started trying to, like, do processing. And now, man, it's like night and day. Like, it really is. <laughs> nice. I want to try to make something. I'll be back in 30. Ah, I see. Okay, well, good luck, man, Fred. Have fun being being a police officer for thirty minutes. That's tight. All right, let's play around with that. I want to try to make something kind of like not necessarily lo-fi house and not necessarily like a deep house, but like some kind of like deep lo-fi vibes. If you get what I'm saying, like not even lo-fi necessarily. Just like that really like thumping style. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it's that same kick sample from the last track. the effects on the sounds as soon as possible. I know a lot of people like will just kind of like to have like you know set it up sort of slowly. Like they'll like make the track and then start adding a few of these kinds of like processing things and then and then work with it. But like I really like to get this stuff set up as soon as possible because 
Otherwise, I mean, I just kind of like, oh, whoops, that wasn't what I meant to get. I just kind of tend to, like, lose interest because it doesn't really sound like a song to me, you know? Like, I want it to sound like what the listener is going to hear when I'm working on it. I feel like that's the best way to really... I know this is, like, really loud. Alright, and then if we put an SSL channel on that, we can kind of get that under control here. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty good. Alright, so let's take this thing and do some stuff to it as well. Let's try adding like a few lower notes in there as well. I think that will help kind of fill out the frequency spectrum. Hi. Hello, what's up? Traveling across the Russia, practically touring last three weeks, always jet lag, so it's hard to catch your streams. Today is quick stop in Moscow, and tomorrow again flights, airports. Oh, that's cool. Champs plugging and staying from UI. Yeah, it's, it's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hey, but that's cool though, Costa. That's interesting. A lot more fun than just sitting in your room making a fi house, huh? Alright, I'm not really feeling the sound anymore. The synth sound, I mean. textbook definition of lo-fi house if I use that sound though. It's very loud. I guess that's kind of cool. Although we could turn this down a bit. Yo. 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 Okay, now you guys can hear me over it. That's good. Well, in order to do that, I did my time sitting in my mom making all kinds of music like for years, and I guess I'll continue that the holiday season, which is ending right now. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> well, let me try and get some some things in here. Oh, I also gotta go in here. 
Mm, sometimes you just gotta switch your file folders. Do you know what I'm saying? Do, do, do. Do, do. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get like an open hi hat. I want to use something like this because it's not like so stereotypical, you know. Yo, Pedro, thank you for subscribing, dude. I appreciate appreciate it. Blue, blue, blue. All right, we're getting some more. Kind of, I just want to use something that's like not normally used, you know. All right, that is basically a nine nine hi hat, but got a bit of different stuff going on. So let's use it. But yo, what's up to all the new people, guys? We have a bunch of new people in here. How are you guys doing? If you've never, if you've never been here before, say what's up. If you have been here before, also say what's up. Let's chat. <laughs> from France. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much, Dreamcatcher. How are you doing? Nice. All right, let's put some processing on this as well. I'm going to grab this SSL EQ. Actually, no, let's just get a channel on there because I think it can use a bit of compression. Um, I like to just use presets, honestly, for these kind of mixing things because I don't know exactly where I'm going a lot of the times, but if you start from a preset, you can kind of get going. That doesn't really sound very good, though. Blue. There's one of these where there are like some good. Nice. All right, I think we need a baseline under this to like really ground it before I can start. Coming up with things. It also just occurred to me that this this uh key is gonna be bad for bass though. Yo, keep up the good work. Good work. Thanks for the beats. Thank you very much, laptop drum. I appreciate it, man. What's up, my man? From Tucson, Arizona. Ah, hello, Alex. Good to see you again. How are you doing? All right, let's put this down in key. One, two, three, four, five. Because this will be a better range for the bass. Matter of fact, let's do F sharp. Why not? And I'll put this in F sharp too. <laughs> nice. All right, that is sounding quite cool. Let me get. All right, let me get the mini here for some bass. Notice you're using a lot of waves plugins lately. Yeah, well, they just sound really good. Like I stopped. I mean, I don't just use the wave stuff for, like, mixing and stuff, but they're just, I don't know, they just sound good. When you use them, your music sounds a lot better. No way to get around that. I 
That sounds cool. Do 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 do. Oh no. Alright, that sounds like a horrible bass. That's not good at all. That sounds like ass. This needs some O. I'm dreaming about UAD plugins. Yeah. I want to get the UAD stuff as well. Any thoughts on the Abbey TG mastering plugin from Waves? I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I should, I should test that out. Maybe I'll do that on the stream. Alright, let's try a bass sound from the DX7. I'm starting with a preset here because I'm just trying to get it like. Locked in, you know? And I might throw this idea away. I don't know. I thought it would be good. It's turning into shit, but we will see. I guess this is what happens when you just make everything from presets, huh? Let's try some bass stuff on here. Sounds good though. Thank you, Laptop Scrum. Well, yeah, I gotta try that Abbey TG. at all. This sounds like a bad kick. Let's get a different one. Maybe if I pitch that one down a bit. Yeah, that kick is very... We're throwing this away. This is not good. I'm going to pull up something else. Let's see. What should we... What should we open up here? I'm going to pull this up because I think this was good, actually. Uh, hey, how goes it? Yo, Angel Shark. Good to see you. Use a fat tongue. That's actually a good idea, but... Bleh. Have you ever hosted any remix competitions? I am not, Alex, but I'm definitely going to do one or two of them in 2019. I've got some tracks coming out very soon for you guys. That, uh, yeah, I'll probably do on those. I wanted to do one in 2018, but it just didn't really work out. And when I say it didn't really work out, I don't know. It was just, like, not really working. So it wasn't super... I guess I could say I, like, wasn't super into the music I was making then. I don't know. But I will definitely be doing a remix contest in 2019. Okay, this has got me wondering, because this is, like... Oh, I remember 
this one another day. Okay, yeah, this is garbage. You have a lot of gain reduction in the SSL. I know, snares. I don't usually pay attention to a lot of that kind of stuff, like how much, like my gain structuring and all that, or my gain staging, I guess you would say. Gain structure. But yeah, I don't really pay attention to a lot of like my gain staging and stuff, because it's like, if it sounds good to me, then I guess it is good. You know? <laughs> I know sometimes though, like, when you have things that are really loud, if you like freeze them, it'll be like the waveform will be really huge. I guess that's kind of a problem, but I ain't had that problem yet. So, you know. All right, let's pull up something else, man. I'm trying to find something. The past couple of days, I've been working on a lot of like um custom tutorials and stuff. Let's see what this is. Like I've been taking the past couple of days and just trying to get those knocked out. I'm trying to get this money. So I've been making as much like personal music because also I made a lot of personal music at the end of 2018 and now like I'm sending that to labels while doing like custom tutorials. You get me? How it be? That's the hustle right now. I remember this. Let's do some, some stuff. If it will pause. You know when you hit pause and Ableton just freezes? There we go. Alright, let's get an SSL channel on there. And see if we can make this work. Oh god. No, that sounds awful. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's not good. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. That didn't really work. You have a compressor compressor on your voice for more consistent level. You guys should be doing that. Okay, this sounds bad. I'm gonna pull up submissions. Cause I think I'm just not having a not having one of those days with the music making and all that kind of stuff. Um but yeah, let's try putting the oh I can't because this is all fuck. Okay, well I'll do that later. <laughs> um but yo, in the meantime, right now, I'm going to pull up some submissions. So, if you guys want to send to a track for me to listen to, either a sound design request or just to listen to, or just like for feedback, I mean, I can get my phone. I will, yeah, send it through. The email's in the description. I'll definitely check it out. All right, where is... Okay, here we go. So, first one here is from... Mulo, aka Br Br Boo Radley W in the chat. All right, let's check this one out. Sounds like a request. What exactly are you trying to find out, Bradley, from this from this track? Also, yo, Angel Shark, did I shout you out already? Hello, good to see you again, man. How are you doing? Oh, nice, hot hot creation. I think I know how they made this. Just the main synth. Sure. 
Yo, hey, all the apes, what's up? It's like the Rolling Loud Sin, Rolling Sin, why did I say Rolling Loud? Good man, hope you are too. Thanks, Angel Shark. Yeah, I'm doing great. Just because I got all you guys here. Thank you. Hello to everybody who's, who's in here. But yeah, I get how this is mid. It's an interesting kind of pluck. I mean, basically what it is, is it's a saw wave type of pluck. And it might not be, actually. It could be some kind of other form. It sounds like they might have used some cool wavetable or something that is just, like, very specifically sounds like that. You know what I mean? All right, one second here. But I'll show you kind of what's going on. I think what's happening is they're not automating the filter frequency, but they're automating, like, the decay of the envelope on the filter. So if we get a saw wave here and put a low pass and we put it, this little thing, If you do it really fast, you'll get that. Like, let's say we just program this MIDI here. Like, we'll just do a minor chord. Let's put that up there. And let's say that we do, like, one of these kind of things. Oh, okay, that's kind of close. Yeah, like let's say we have that. Maybe this one's a little longer. This one could be a little bit longer as well. Then what's happening is they're basically automating the decay time on the envelope. So if we do like... Here, let's just make this longer so I can like really show you. But yeah. Like let's just say we have that. Let's put it at like 120. Now, if you do it too much, it's going to sound, it just goes back to being, like, the full chord, but. I think. I think that's what they're doing, and I'm not getting it exactly. It sounds to me like there's, like, a resonator on there. What key are we in? We're in E minor. Let's get a resonator here. Like, if we get something like this. Maybe we pitch it up a bit. Nah, let's do it. I know it's not exactly, it's not exactly, but I think it's like that kind of thing, the rhythm of it. Yeah, the rhythm is just like the way, like it's just the way you program it. Like I could probably recreate this pattern if you want to see it. Here, let's try that. You know, it's like that kind of stuff. It's like a uh, crap hi hat type patterns, but with chords. Gucci boy, yo, Marinas, how's it going, man? Hola, Louis. Hola, Julian. Scott. <laughs> Don, hello. Let's see, I think it's side channel with a kick too, perhaps. Yeah, probably. It blew up on people. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's like, it's just basically this kind of technique. Like, it's not that hard, but it's one of those things that, like, you just wouldn't really think to do if you were just, like, working with a synth. Although, this is interesting. Oh, yeah, and then this part goes, like, like, kind of opens up there. That is the filter opening, definitely. Like, that is definitely just... Yeah, like, opening the filter there. Like, it's just a lot of automation. Dope, thanks a bunch. Yeah, no problem, Bradley. Thanks, Skyward High. Sounds like a memory to me. Maybe with tension you can achieve it. Yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. I think it... I mean, it probably is a sin. It could be tension, though, actually. Very likely that somebody would be using that. That's interesting. I never get into like tension or anything. Let's see what this, what it. Does. Okay, yeah, that's not really. 
That ain't really it, Chief. That's kind of interesting. Alright, let me pull up this thing, maybe. Let's see what this is. Yo, Rebel! Yo! How's it going, man? Good to see you. I'm good. Just making making some tunes. You know how it goes. I honestly don't know what this project file that's about to load is, because... Yeah, I just forget. <laughs> but we shall see. Oh, actually... Okay, so this is a sample pack loop, although I did do quite a bit to it. Like, there's the original. I guess I, like, I filtered it, you know, made it a bit weirder. And there's also this pad. But I need a different kick, huh? That's not really, that is, that is not it, Chief. But that's okay, because we can, we can easily do that. Alright, let's put that through some some processing. Ooh, second one. Yeah, it's just that. Ah, nice. I'm good to see you guys like this one. <laughs> All right, let me put this through some some stuff. Just so I get it started, you know? All right, that. Just heard back from Chief. He said that ain't it. No. Uh. Maybe something from here. Shrugbees, Julian, where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C. In the United States of A. This is a bit of a messy project file, you know. It's just one of those kind of kind of things. Let's turn this off. That just kind of makes things sound bad. A kick like 
think this can work in these kind of tracks. How's it sound without the pluck bass? I can show you that. I have nothing in this. Yeah, it's alright. Thought you were from Europe. <laughs> yeah, lately a lot of people have been thinking I'm French for some reason. I guess it's like my my voice. But I just have a really nasally voice. I was born with a cleft lip, so kinda doomed for nasaliness. But I don't really care about what I'm just saying, but like Yeah, I think a lot of people have just thought I'm French because of that. <laughs> Which is cool. I'm down for that. That's a bit better. Let's get a synth to play that little melody that was being played by that one thing. I think the plucky goes more in the way of EDM. Really? Yeah, it's kind of got one of those. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, let's kind of dial this back a bit. Can we make it a bit deeper? I guess that is kind of like an EDM based, but. I don't know. I feel like we can still make this fit like a... Alright, I'll figure out what the notes are. But I feel like we can make this kind of go in the direction that I want it to. This way. Let me get like a... I know I'm using a ton of presets today, guys. It's just because like I'm trying to get uh trying to get something started here. What key are we in? That might be kind of useful, huh? That's the kick. Okay, we're in D sharp minor. Listen to this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. you're French because of your first name more likely yeah probably I am you know me I just like to say things that are like completely wrong so I make a fool of myself on the stream and then everybody everybody uh corrects me that's kind of like my hobby now <laughs> nice to see you again hey yo Madi, what's up how's it going do you have a Discord? No, I don't, Ollie. I used to have one, but it became a troll. Became Troll City. So, I do not have one now. But I'm starting to think I should make one now. Like, the thing is, when I made one before, it was a little too early. Like, it was just kind of like 20 people in there or so. Like, it just, I don't know. Not to say anything bad about that, but it just wasn't like, like, it didn't really make any sense to do it when I made it. It was when I wasn't really that, that well known on YouTube. So, it was like, just kind of pointless. But now, maybe I should do it. I don't know. 
You guys want me to make a Discord? I could just make one on the stream right now for you guys. Because I would like to have one. That would be cool. I'm going to send you a song on SoundCloud. Okay, cool, man. Fred. Is there a feedback later on the stream or is it? No, Nameless, I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the feedback just during the stream, like throughout. Like you can just send me a track now and I will check it out. Applaud me. <laughs> Maybe, Ollie. But yeah, send it on through Nameless. I'd love to hear that. Alright, this is a basic sound, but it's like pretty good. I like how it's not taking over the whole mix. We can layer it with something too. But I'm really trying to get that like dark, like lo fi, or not lo fi, but like that dark, like melodic techno type vibe. We just started one in Discord. Ah, yeah. Well, see, I guess it's never too late then, because you guys are definitely a lot more well known than I am. <laughs> um. But yeah, like, because what happened was, like I said, I had it, and I used it a little bit, but it just, like, people weren't really active in it, and then, like, it just kind of got the trolls took over. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna step away. I'm gonna give it a moment. <laughs> I thought you were from Britain. Dark sound. Ah, thank you. Well, that's, that's the first. I've never had anybody think I was British. Pretty much in my entire life, so. That's something. There we go. Now let's group those two together and do some stuff to the group. So I'm going to put an OFO tool on the group as opposed to on these individually. And then... Let's try putting that through some guitar rig. Wow, that is actually a very surprising stroke beat. I, like I said, I've never had anybody think that I was British in, I think, my entire life. So, that's something. <laughs> That's kind of cool, not being stereo, but at the same time, I do definitely want it to be wide or wider. And let's layer that. So I'll do two chains here. There we go. And then we'll put a room reverb on. And then let's put a little chord underneath this as well. Sintra Tunji, guitar rig should sponsor you. Native. Maybe, yeah, maybe one of these days. I gotta earn it first, though. Um, I can make you one now. I guess some time. Yeah, true, Ollie. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'll see. I've been talking about making one. I've had other people tell me I should make one, so. Yeah, starting to think it's that time. Okay, I completely blanked on what key we're in here. We're in D-sharp minor. I should have like a super like choir -y sound for this drone. Let's get a let's get a choir from on this here. Very scary dope sounds. Thank you, Marina. Yeah, dude, this is like this is like what I've been into. This kind of stuff. Just like dark. Dark vibes. But not like I don't know, not like just dark for the sake of being dark, but it just is like, you know, just how it is sometimes. Human voices. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so I'm going to get a quiet here, and then I'll pull out the submissions. I guess send over a tomb. Thanks. Yeah, I think I just got it. Nameless. Yeah, I think I did, actually. Hey, Julian, when are you doing feedback on Trek's game? Paul, I'm doing it right now, so send it on through. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing feedback, like, just throughout the stream today, so. Yeah, send it through. All right, let's find a choir here. Gospel choir, maybe that'll be cool. Why is it? Oh, okay. true it's all in the description ollie um and also donations very very much appreciated by the way like i yeah i really appreciate it. literally all you gotta do just donate me like two dollars preferably a little bit more i will check out your track but the donations really help me so i appreciate those guys all right this is sounding a bit not how i want it to sound One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's cool. I do not like this kick at all. I'm going to go in to here. I know I said I would pull up some, some submissions a second ago, but I am going to pull up the submissions in like one moment. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't sent something through, send it on through. The most definitely maybe a trip to... <laughs> That'd be tight. I'm trying to go to Berlin for a while now. Yeah, that's a lot better. I put it down one semitone because this track is in D sharp and G sharp would be, which is A flat, would be the uh, relative, or not the relative major, but the, the fifth of that. So it still is like working musically. Alright, I think I will pull up the submissions in a moment. I want to do like a little piano thing there, actually. Nice. All right, give me a sec here, guys. Maybe I can even do it with a synth. I don't know. I want to use the piano because I haven't used the piano in a little while in one of my tracks. So probably probably get on that. Actually, that's not true. But I haven't been like doing it in the past like week or two, so it feels like it's been a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to play like a little arp at the end of every like maybe. Well, I guess at the end of every chord progression. So I'm pretty sure that's eight bars. Might be four though. We shall see. But I feel like I can make the cool piano thing work. And maybe it'll have to be like an M1 or something. I don't know. But we shall see. I'm going to try the piano that I usually use first. First. Actually, let's use this Arturia piano. I guess it was kind of pointless that I did that. But whatever. 
I think it needs to play the chord that's playing at that time. Nah, that ain't it, Chief. Let's just go back to D sharp. Yo, T, what's up? Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Manfred, I appreciate the donation, dude. I will I'll pull up your submission in a sec now. This is coming together. sound an analog for this and then I will pull up the submissions. Take your time mate. Alright, thank you man Fred. You are very kind. Yo, we've got the most people that we've had since the stream started. What is up? How are you guys doing? If you haven't said anything yet, come say what's up. I promise we are very kind here. We are very nice people. This is like the nice side of the music in of the online music production slash music community. <laughs> Saying that loud. Yo, Ali, thank you for the donation, dude. All right, well, I got two donations, so I think I should pull up the submissions now. <laughs> yeah, that'll work for now. Um, oh, well, thank you for the donations, guys. I appreciate it. Take your time, mate. Needs some in depth critique. I feel you. Well, I will hit you with that in depth critique real quick. Hi, all. Yo, Hirosha, what's up? You should do a what's or not tutorial. Yeah, Kellen, I know. I've been getting a bunch of requests for it. Tomorrow, I wanted to drop... I had, like, a... Well, I was going to have this weekend be, like, crazy. I was going to do tomorrow the one on tricks point never tutorial, which I've been thinking about doing for a while. And then I was going to do the what's or not tutorial on either Saturday or Sunday. But then tomorrow, I don't want to do a what's or not or one on tricks point never tutorial because tomorrow I'm dropping my weekly essentials mix. So I want to do a video to go along with that. So I'm doing a... Uh, Whatever it's called. French House Tutorial, since tomorrow's Weekly Essentials is going to be on French House. But yeah, so I don't know. I'll probably do the What's or Not Tutorial. Maybe I'll do the What's or Not Tutorial on Saturday. I don't want to... I don't know. I'm not sure when I want to drop that OPN. But the What's or Not Tutorial, that is definitely coming soon. Like, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, anyway. In the meantime, let's pull up some submissions. So, this first one here is from Manish. Thanks again for the donation, dude. Getting a four-track release on a little they've asked me to make a slower slash more melodic track. You know that's not my style. That's not my style. So any guidance on this track would be great. Save. Alright, let's check this out. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Kellen. Yo, Octavio! Hello, hola. Hello. Is there still coming an Igloo Ghost? Yeah, and that's also on the list. And thanks for the same tutorial. Yeah, like, my top... Definitely, like, the Igloo Ghost and Wonder Tricks Point Never tutorial, I... It's not even that I haven't worked on them, it's just that, like, 
I don't know. I guess it just doesn't work out. Like, I never find, like, the right time to drop it, you know? But I guess if you think about the right time, then you never, like, the right time never comes, you know? So maybe I need to just do it. Well, this weekend, you guys will get either an Igloo Ghost tutorial, a one on Tricks Point Never tutorial, or a What's the Not tutorial. One of those three will come out on, like, Saturday. I'm writing this down on my to-do list now, so I don't forget it. But yeah, don't worry, guys. You getting it, boys. All right, let's play this one from Chromosphere. Two for 20. Nice. I almost stopped doing that. I like where this is going. I know I could do them quickly. Like every tutorial I've ever made, I just make it one day. Start to finish. It's just like when I do it, I guess. Hard to explain. Yo, Pedro! Thank you for subscribing, dude. I appreciate it. track i can definitely hear some things to improve with it but i do like the foundation you build here <laughs> marinas mr santa kind of more well for one I think it's a little bit out of key with the track I don't think it really fits with that bass line I could be wrong but to me it's just sounding kind of out of key I get what you were going for though like trying to make something kind of warp sounding Is that still happening? One of the details. Yeah, Octavio. Um, I'll keep playing this. But I'm gonna be. Well, actually, I'm making an announcement on Saturday. I'm gonna be doing custom tutorials. So basically, they will be forty dollars, and for forty dollars, you get a custom video, same format as the videos on my channel, like ten to twenty minutes of me just talking about whatever you want me to teach you. Like it could be how to make a track in the style of this person. It could be how to mix your track. Like if you send me a project file, how I would go about mixing it. it could be how to make a sound like literally anything that you can possibly imagine in any dimension of music production. Like just anything music wise. 
I'll do that for forty dollars. And then you also get the project file and samples. And the video is private. It's not gonna go up on my channel, but you will have a link to it. But yeah, I'm gonna be announcing those on Saturday in a video. But yeah. <laughs> Interesting sound. Sounds out of key. Yeah. I don't know. I think it is just one of those things where it doesn't fit. This is cool. Also, we once again have the most amount of people watching that we've had since the stream started. So. Hello, what's up? Everybody who's watching right now, say what's up. Let's just see how many messages we can put in the chat in like a minute and just see what's what's up. Just everybody say hello. Everybody, everybody, okay. Find somebody in the chat right now that has been chatting throughout the stream and just start a random conversation with them. And let's see how many random conversations we can get going at once. And then I will try to read them and figure them out. I'll start making a list. <laughs> Thanks, Octavio. Well, yeah, like I said, all the info is going to be out on Saturday. And it'll be, like, a lot easier to get to me. Yo, but this is really fire. I like this. Like, I really think this is a cool track. What's up? <laughs> Thank you, laptop. Hola. Hey, what's up? Hello. Hi. And then I'll just go, hello. I'll just hold that out for as long as I can. What if we would like the video? <laughs> Alright, this is very cool. So, I like this track. I think you got a good foundation with that bass line. That, that is very cool. But, like, overall... I think you just need to put this with a reference track. Like, find a track that's kind of like the same type of, like, slower, melodic techno vibe. You crazy man. <laughs> I would just like to watch and listen. Yeah, of course. No, I'm just being, I'm just being excessive now, but, you know. <laughs> I've never been in mod on the stream. You get, like, some kind of notification or something. I have a separate alias. Oh, that's cool. Good track. Yeah, I think this is good. I think you just need to work with that main synth riff. And then, like I said, like, find a reference track and then kind of, like, just put it against that because, like, it's just a lot of stuff. Like, this is a good, good foundation to start on. But, yeah, cool track, man, friend. I like where you're going with this. Send this to me when you finish it. All right, cool. So, this next one here is from Daniel Wright. Track submission. Here's a bootleg remix I started last night. Pretty sure, yeah, this is Nameless DMB in the chat. Exactly like Twitch now. <laughs> Julian, you said earlier that touring is better than sitting in the room and making a lo-fi house or sounds more exciting. Imagine this room is in some distant place in Russia full. <laughs> that might be more fun. You're right. I don't know. What is the other you are fire Wow. R.I.P. Well, that's okay, Nameless, because we're about to play your track. It's a drum-based roller. Nice. I'm not 100% finished yet, but as for mix sound, you think it has an okay mix? I'll be sending it to Mastering Artist to finalize it. Or does mix sound shitty? I know it might be a bit hard to tell because SoundCloud has such poor streaming quality, but does everybody does everything sound okay in the mix, etc.? I did try to make the vocals sort of there. But not too there if you get me. So they sit a bit low in the mix, so it doesn't overpower everything. Anyone else? Anyone enough about it? What's your thoughts? I'm not sure what that means, but yeah. DMB roller. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Julian, you should become a Twitch thought. <laughs> Honestly, that's. Yeah. If I could, I would, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Alright, let's hear this one. Breakage. Ooh, that kick at the start there. Odd, 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 odd. Wow, R.I.P. Marinus and Nameless's relationship. Now we won't hear that dope melodic techno drum and bass roller. Odd, 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 
You got the raga vocals in there, that's important. Wow, I feel like this is waking me up. Dark, like minimal stuff. Like critical music type vibe. Men walking like them. <laughs> Yo, Levent! Levant? Levo? I don't know how you say that. But thank you for subscribing. It probably is like Levo or something like that. Dark. Yeah, like imagine you're just chilling in like Birmingham or Manchester or someplace like that. And you're just out, out at the club one night with all your mates, your best friend you've known since you were five, your girlfriend, and then this tune comes on, and you're like, hey, that boy. That's a sick tune. Like them like them like them <laughs> <That got it. laughs> Yo, Yo, Zia, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Yo, this is a cool track, Nameless. I like this. Now, the only thing that I can hear that's going on here is I think you could kind of, like, work with your drums a bit, like... <laughs> drop kick my mitt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I think this is a good good kick and snare. I really like the snare a lot. Um, But I feel like like the kick just isn't really there. Like, this sounds more like the kind of kick you would use in, like, a, like a hospital-type track. Like, more of those big, like, kind of liquid drum and bass type vibes but like with this kind of thing i would go for a shorter and tighter and kind of like low tuned kick like there's this one kick sample that i have in mind that isn't exactly the one i would use but like kind of something more in this domain i know this is a trap pack but there's this one kick in here pretty sure it's this one yeah like something more in this kind of vibe where it's like just kind of smaller and tighter. I think that would work better with this more minimal style of drum and bass. Like, these kind of kicks I feel like work best in like the big, super like, poppy kind of not like poppy, but you know what I'm talking about. Like I said, like hospital, liquidity, those kind of things. Yeah, I got some bad news for you. Nan is taking a tumble today. All right, well, yeah, this is a very fun track. I like this. Like I said, just that one thing with the kick, and maybe the snare could be a little bit tighter as well. But overall, very cool, Daniel. Thank you for saying that one through. All right, this next one here is from Doug. Actually, I'm going to play this one from Ollie because he donated first. One sec here. Let me... Okay, cool. So this one here is from Ollie. Then I'll pull up the other one. Hey, man, let me know what you think. Cool. Thank you for the donation. Ah, shameless self-promotion. Go follow that account. All right, let's peep this. This tune. Probably going to have to pull this up in... Yeah, let's do it in music player. I want to change the kick, actually. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, just like that. Thanks, man. No problem. Thanks for the donation. Um, the door. Oh, did I actually? Oh, I think I didn't get a donation from Nameless, actually. Whoops.
It was squally. A lot deeper than what we were just listening to, huh? Reminds me of like Caribou and Quartet. I like this though. as I would like it to be like if you listen to like a track by Caribou in this style for example like his kick really punches through like the bass is really powerful the synths kind of have more of a texture to them like overall I think it's just a little bit basic right now and you need to add some stuff maybe like some extra kind of me- like counter melodies on top as well could help like just that extra ear candy type type stuff alright well Thank you for sending that one through, Ollie, and thank you again for the donation. Um, if you have sent in a track so far and you haven't sent in a donation, especially if you send multiple tracks, like, I would really appreciate donations for these submissions. But yeah, literally just send me like $2 on Super Chat, and I'll check out your thing. Anyway, this next one here is from Doug. I will play this one. Listen to Milk and Spoon by DVZ. Check this out. Milk and Spoon. Milk and Spoon. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, no problem, Molly. Thanks for playing that too. Yeah, this is cool to be too. Different vibe. This feels a little slow. I guess that's the vibe you're kind of going for. Faster, it could be an absolute wobbler. Yeah, I feel like this is just a little slow. Like, I get you were trying to do a little slower kind of vibe, but I don't know. If this was like 126 or something, I would, it would just feel like a really good bass house tune. Like, the thing is, I don't know. I literally just called something a tune. 
Not ironically. Nice track. It's cool. It just feels like it's like droning on, you know? <laughs> vocal sample though that's uh yeah that's interesting like i said you could also probably beef it up a lot like the kick is kind of weak and the bass is not as powerful as i would like but overall cool track i would just keep working on it anyway this next one here is from i think i'm saying that one through this next one here is from caleb or Callum. i'm not sure how you say that because i know people say it all different ways Anyway, I'm a noob. Just been following you guys and changing your stuff to making it longer. What would you say my next step is? Nice. Let's check this out. Love you, Steph. Thank you, Caleb. Callum. 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 Probably not how you say your name. I think it's been a structure that could be given by some roots. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool, Kale. It's always interesting when people say that they did something like just watching stuff that I made because, yeah, like like it's kind of interesting to see like how that channels into everybody's creativity. You know what I mean? Like, it's always gonna sound one way coming from me when I make an idea because it's just like that's just how how it is, I guess, if I make an idea. But when other people make something really dope or like just something very different than I would ever imagine to make, like it's really interesting to me because. Yeah, it's like you're kind of like building on my thing, but it's so different than I would have ever even made it just because you are doing it instead of me, you know? If you took my advice and made this, that is cool. This is a cool track. I see where you're going here. Alright, so I think you should just keep working on it. Like, you actually kind of have a good foundation. Like, for having just started making stuff, this isn't too bad. Like, I would just keep working with it. Just keep improving. And, uh, yeah, practicing. Because you got a cool track here. And you definitely, like, onto something good. Just keep working with it. Um, alright, cool. So, next one here. I think I'm saying that one through. This next one here is from Kieran. Submit. Awesome. Let's check this out. I'll play this first one. And like I said, if you want me to play two tracks, send me a donation. Yo ho! Red Bull! Troy! Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that donation, man. I know I'm out here just, like, begging for donations. <laughs> but thank you very much. Troy, if you want to send me more tracks, I will definitely check them out. Thank you, dude. Sure. How long has anyone here been making music? Does anyone actually know music theory? I know music theory. But, like, just what I've taught myself. Nice channel. Thank you very much, A-Dub. Yeah, that's interesting. I like those like distorted reverb type leads. Probably vaporwave vibes. Yeah, if you just like took this and pitched it down a bunch, that'd be really cool. I know some theory, but for this is 
12. That's cool. All right, so I'm not going to play that. This is pretty tight. I like this. I think you just kind of need to work on it a bit more. Like, I think you're going somewhere, going somewhere interesting. Just kind of like. Yeah, like, it's just kind of like basic right now. Like, you just got to keep working on it. Keep practicing. Keep working on stuff. And I'm sure, I'm sure you'll come up with something really dope. That sounded interesting, though. I think I'm saying that one through, Karen. All right. So, this next one here is from Zier. Three. Be your girl. Ooh, let's hear this. This looks interesting. Anyone feel sometimes it's better to go by ear than music theory? I definitely feel that way. I mean, like, all all the time, not just sometimes. Um, But, yeah, definitely, like, I mean, it's always better to go by ear. The music theory is just to inform your ear of, like, what to do. Like, if you think about it, you're not, like, it's not like you're, okay, it's not like you make a song and then you, like, put all your melodic parts through some kind of, like, thing where it, um, where it would say, like, okay, this works music theory-wise. Like, no, like, you just make a song, and if it sounds good, it sounds good. So, like, yeah, music theory is just to inform your ear. It's just to, like, get your ear kind of used to, like, how it works, I guess. And what's going to sound good, but, like, definitely it's better to go by ear. I've been making music since, like, 2008. Started electronic music around 2010 with energy. Oh, that's interesting. Pretty sure nobody's ever... I've heard of that. Awesome. Nice, nice spot. When did you start it? I started in 2013. Two months. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, Zier. I see where you're going here. For one, this reminds me very much of that King Trinata remix of the same song. Uh, but overall, like, I think you can just. All right, well, I'm not complaining again, but I think you could just, like, just keep working on it. Like, just keep practicing, because you got some cool start here. The drums actually sound pretty good for uh, not having messed with anything too long. I don't know. Sounds cool, Zier. Thanks for sending that through. All right, I'm putting this one here from Troy. RP tracks. Nice. Night cool inspired work in progress I made while I was under the weather one night. No, let's hear this one. Then how would I pitch down the whole track and make it sound vapor wavy? Well, just literally, good work. Oh, nice. Thank you, 2013. Yeah, 2013 was like the magical year for music production, I feel like. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying that because I started using them. But here, I'll show you really quick, and then I'll play this track. But basically, the way you would do it is just take, like, like literally export the track. Like, let's take this thing that I made. Like, let's say we want to take this track and make it, like, slow down and vapor wavy. Literally, all we got to do I'll just turn that up. It's just take the whole track, export it, and pinch it down. And there you go. Dude, that's cool. But yeah, it's really not too hard. You just like export it and then do that. Gotta go buy it. All right, cool. Peace out, laptop shroom. Have fun with whatever, whatever you gotta go do. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, it sounds very good for two months, like I was saying. Better tune your bass, yeah. Whatever your instrument and key. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let's pull this this submission up now. Nice. Good idea. I mean, that's how you make vaporwave. Just pitching the song down, so it'll be the same thing to make your own. I 
I go by ear now, I used to fine tune everything. Especially with percussion, bass genres, I just like to do it. So it's like, yeah. Let's go down to it. Nice. The high hats are there's a lot of detail in there. Like the drum break, hi hats. cool if these sounds were just a lot more like character characterful i guess you would say i don't know like maybe try yeah just like with the drums and stuff like saturation maybe a bit of like tasteful compression to kind of just glue everything together and make it more like in the same kind of under the same umbrella so to speak like i think this is cool i like the acidy kind of resonance sense This is cool. Reminds me of like a very quartet influenced techno track. Yo, MK23, what's up? This one sounds cool. The other thing I would say is the kick I think could be a little bit punchier. Like I wanna go straight up for like a kick like this. Like something really like kinda clicky like that. But maybe just adding a bit more of a pitch envelope onto it could kind of help it, like, cut through a little bit more. Because, yeah, it's just mostly, like, the quality of everything sonically. But I do think this is a very cool track. Um, thank you for saying that one through, Troy. Awesome. So, this next one here is actually, I've already opened the email, but this next one here is from Austin. Julian, tried making a deep house track for the first time. Definitely need some stuff. We're running out of ideas. Let's check this out. <laughs> What's up, King? Respect, thanks for the feedback. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for the donation. I really appreciate it. What's up, King? Hey, Drew, what's up? Hello. I love to see my fellow Kings winning. I use it on Linux. I like how you can use it as a VST. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Momo. Popular song or whatever. Okay, well, this drop is maybe needing some work here. Okay, so here's what's happening here. So I'll play like this part. Your breaks are just fine. They're very good actually, like these parts. But then as soon as you got to this build up, you took out the bass. So it's kind of, it's like losing the foundation. You need to keep the bass going through the build up. And then in the drop, 
I mean, you just you need some bass in that. Like that just doesn't really sound right. I think there's a bass in there. It's like like, but it's not really in the low end. It's kind of tuned up very high. You know what I mean? Like you need to kind of you need to get that down in a lower octave. Like overall, this has a lot of promise, but it's just kind of missing that proper like body, you know. And it's because of the bass. You need to add a bass in there. Like, there's no other way. You've got a pretty cool idea for your drop here, too. Like, I think overall you got a good track, but you need some bass in the build-up and in the drop. And I think that you can work on the mix a little bit as well. Like, put this with a reference track and listen to how powerful and how hard-hitting the reference track is. And then, like... Go from there. There's a sub and a mid bass. True. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm not hearing it. I mean, I do hear like a very faint sub in there. But it's not, it's just not in there. But I gotta work on my mixing. Yeah, you just need to mix those so they're like louder and like more in your face. Overall, like, not a bad track, Momo. I think you just need to work on that. But this is cool. This has a lot of promise. But I was just expecting a lot to happen, I guess, when I hit the drop. All right, well, that is it for the submissions for right now. Nice. Oh, actually, no, there's not. Because I just got this one. Oh, nice. Okay. Yo, MK23 just sent this through. So a couple of weeks ago on the stream, some of you might remember this. I mixed on my headphones. Oh, true. I actually used headphones exclusively for my first, like, two years of producing. So I feel you on that one. Send you the kick chain. Yo, okay, so, a couple weeks ago, MK23, he's in the chat right now. You guys probably recognize him if you come to the stream regularly. He made this track that had, like, this really, really good techno kick. And I asked him how he made it. And he said he made it using this this rack that he made. And he told me he would send me the rack. And so, he finally sent it through. Well, not finally. I don't mean to say it like that. <laughs> but he just sent it through. But I'm going to download this. And we're going to play around with this. All right, let's download this onto here. Nice. Let's check this out. I'm gonna make a new project file for this. But yeah, so this is just basically like a really good chain for uh, techno kicks. Like I said, I heard it in that one track. Fire. Alright, so let's pull this up in here. Let's get a kick. It says, okay, Convolution Reverb Pro. Play with the K in size. Different IRs can have huge differences. IR means impulse response. Play with the EQ and damp for different textures. Dark, heavy, kick chain. The key on 0% turns the plugin off. The lock defines your bass sound a lot, so play around with it, and you'll realize how different the line can become nice. Overall, kick sound needs to be punchy and strong for the chain to work its wonders. Amazing for bass lines or beefing up simple kicks. Yo, let's yeah, let's try this out. Alright, let's go to like 128 here. I'll get a kick sample. Let's get a punchy kick. Dude, I had that last track stuck in my head. See, that was a good track. You just need to work on it. Alright, let's take this one. There we go. I wanted to make it a little shorter. All right, we'll put that in and do some quarter notes. This is interesting, though. They're saying this one through MK23. I've been waiting on this. You can make a dark German techno tutorial video using this. Uh, yeah, maybe. I could like shout you out in the in the description. All right, let's find this. And here it's this DK full rack. All right, let's peep this. I'm interested to see what's going on here. This is cool. Load the rack. Oh, okay. So, oh, I see. Okay, so it's in here. I gotta put the uh, the kick sample. All right, let's do that then. Oh, and then okay. So here's the reverb part. Oh wow. So you can hear like yeah, that really, that really works, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's get a um a different impulse response here. I'm not sure why this doesn't so much problem. Oh no, I don't know what's going on here, dude. But I can't hear anything. That's like is something muted, maybe. 
Oh, it's the... No, it's not that. This is utility. It ain't that either. Damn, well, this is really good kick. Please use some rave stabs, future techno. <laughs> it has a simple in it already. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, let's get some stabs. But yo, I don't know what's going on with this. We can't hear anything. Let me try another impulse response. I'll get one of my ones from the Max Alive Revolution Reverb Pro. Or maybe I can't do that, actually. Okay, well, let's just get, like, a sound and put it in there and see if it will... See if it'll take... I don't know what's going on. You have Max Alive? Yeah, I do. Damn. R.I.P. Okay, well, let's see here, because the audio... Okay, yeah, it's just not... It's something in here, maybe. Maybe this has, like... No, I guess it's not working. Well, that's, that's strange. Yeah, that sucks, but this kick sounds huge. Is that just like the way it's being... Oh, I see. Okay. There's all this stuff going on. Wow. Well, this sounds very good, man. I like this. I mean, this is even just good for like kicks. Let me try this one techno kick rack that I have on this. Maybe load your convolution reverb pro in it. Yeah, I'll try that. Cause I don't know what's going on here. Just like not putting any sound into it. Alright, let's try putting my own reverb into this. My own convolution reverb pro. What are you? What are you? Do you it's the reverb. Yeah, yeah. Place the whole convolution plugin. Yeah, that's what I'm. What I've just tried here. Here, let's just load up one of these presets. Presets. Damn, well, yeah, it must be my Convolution Room Pro. Yo, Drew, thank you for the donation, dude. If you want to send to a track, it's all in the description. I know, you've sent tracks in before, so you know how to do it. But I'll pull that up in a sec, but yeah, I guess it's my Convolution Room Pro. Damn, that sucks. I don't know why, though, because... Like, if I just load that... Huh. All right, well, there's something wrong with mine. Sorry about that. I don't really know like why that's being called. Us. Um, all right, well, let's just put like a different reverb on here and play with that. Nice. And then I think there was also the low pass on there after that to get the rumble. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is gigantic. Wow, that is like a really, really powerful. Okay, that's then I'll let you know. Off top. Well, thank you, Drew. I appreciate it, man. All right, yeah, let's pull up a stab here. Let's make one, actually. Dude, that sucks that this wasn't working, but it still sounds amazing. Like, even just putting the kick into the rack. That's a lot of power. Nice. And then maybe we can throw like another voice on there as well.
Yeah, there we go. That sounds pretty good. Yo, that is what we call a rumble. That is like a rumbly kick. We'll play around with it offline then if you want to send anything to come with your ear. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I will definitely I will definitely check that out if you send it through again. One sec here. All right, anyway, yeah, I mean, if you want an MK23, like I said, I just like having this. Like, this is just good. Like, it's, like, a good thing to have something like this. Like, this is what I was talking about before, like, setting up, like, your processing on your sounds. It's, like, if you do stuff like this, like, make your kick sound this powerful at the start of the track, it just really, like, makes it that much easier to, like, get a groove going and get a vibe going because, like, you're listening to, like, a real track. You know, you're not just listening to some samples, some raw audio. Hey, yo, Nick, good to see you, man. All right, we'll use that for a start. I also want to put... A little like do -do 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 kind of synth underneath that. Let's use serum actually. Good morning, dude. How are you? How are you doing this morning? This evening. It's the evening for me. I guess not really, especially since I woke up at like three p.m. Huh. Nice. And this isn't really meant to be a bass, like. I'll even cut out the low end now. I'm just playing it in a low range because that's what sounds good. To me. Yo, dude, you guys job my Hey, thank you, Dig Dog. Yeah, that was one I got a lot of requests for. I'm doing, or I actually just started it this week. But on my Instagram, if you want to go follow it, link in the description. Definitely go follow my Instagram if you haven't already, guys. But I, um,. On my Instagram story, every Sunday night, I'm doing, like, the weekly, like, just basically asking a question, like, what videos do you want to see this week? And then I'm trying to make them. And that was one of the ones that got requested, like, five times. So, yeah, definitely want to make that one. Well, thank you very much, Dig Dug. I appreciate it. Add some dark percussion. Yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Dark heavy kick chain is super strong. Dude, yeah, you snapped MK23. You really did. Hey, man, can you do that tongue click? Oh, like. <laughs> I can do that any time. Alright, so I like using these kind of like hard bass wave tables. For these kind of sounds in techno. Because it just gives you like a different sound, you know? Put this in this filter actually. So we can do some distortion and stuff before the filter. But yeah, you can get like some more interesting synth timbers, and it doesn't have to just sound like dubstep, you know? Got a new tone sample? <laughs> yeah, no problem, Molly. There's like about the clip. Nice. Hey Reese, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, if you want to do a tutorial with on the kick, appreciate a shout. Yeah, of course. Maybe that would motivate me to produce. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. What's in the kick chain? 
No worries, Dig Dug. I'll show you. I might give this away, honestly, on my channel. So we just have... It's actually kind of complicated. I don't know. MK23 can explain it to you. He made this, actually. Yo, Sojo. Thank you for subscribing. I'm probably saying that wrong. Something I made. All right, so I got... Oh, okay, cool. So I got the submission from from Drew. All right, cool. Let's pull this up. So I'm going to pull this one up from Ali first because he sent this in before and he donated. Thank you very much again for the donation, dude. Here's one I released this week as part of a noise project. Nice. Let's hear this. I haven't listened to noise music in a while. Paint with different plugins that beef up the kick. Yeah, that's one way to put it. That artwork is spook. Email. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Drew. Washington, can you see me? <laughs> what do you mean, Nomad? Nice AF, good job. Yeah, that, that kick rack is crazy. This is cool, too. Pound for that's cool. Cool name. Very unique. You can see my top, top playlist over here. <laughs> This is cool. I don't really listen to a lot of noise music. I never really got into it, but I can see the vibe going on here. See what you what you're aiming for. Okay, I'm just stopping making sounds over this. Now I'm gonna stop making sounds over this. <laughs> this is tight. Like I said, I don't know a lot about this kind of music. I don't really listen to it that much. I'm not really much. I just don't know what is like good and what is bad. But this is cool. Don't make noise music as well. The housework playlist has some fire in it. Yeah, I like I listen to the time. I like the techno bunker playlist too. It's like a really good way to just kinda of see what's going on right now, you know? Omnisphere yeah, Omnisphere is very good for this kind of stuff. You are right. What's the best way to learn sound design? They're doing. Just keep keep making sounds. Keep failing. Keep messing up. Keep doing it the wrong way. And you will make something very good, I promise you. Well, it's kinda hey, nice, Dig Dug. Cool. Well, yeah, that was a cool trick. I don't really have a lot to say. I've never had somebody send in noise music before this. So that was the first. Definitely sounds pretty cool. Thanks for sending that one through, Ollie. Like I said, I don't really have much to say, but sounds tight. Um, all right, so this next one here is from Drew Daps. Hey, thank you for sending this one in. Dude, that track you sent in last week, was it last week? I don't know. The one that was, like, kind of lo-fi and had, like, the organ stabs in it. I've been listening to that, like, the past, uh past couple of days, dude. I went back to that, and I was listening to it in the car. It sounds very good. I like that. So let's hear this one. Music makes me dance H. Yo, a lifetime group. Thank you for subscribing. Or if you would create that crank Christmas track. Yeah, I could try something like that. Perfect magic show music. <laughs> that would be very good for a magic show. Thanks, no problem, Molly. Tutorials, lots and lots of tutorials. Yeah, exactly. That's why I make so many tutorials. So you can just start watching all my stuff and learn how to do it. Best way to have your music on Spotify? Um, whatever it's called. 
DistroKid. It's actually in the description. If you sign up for DistroKid with the link in the description, you will get a little bit off, and I will get a little bit of money as well. But yeah, DistroKid actually is kind of like the best. Or not the best, but like, you just kind of pay one time, and then you get to upload a lot of music. <coughs> Yo. There's like something in my throat. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, well, that sounded really cool, Drew. I like this. I like the deep, like, garage kind of vibe. I think you could kind of balance a little bit more. Like, I think the bass could come up a lot. Maybe the kick could come down a little bit. You know, stuff like that, but... Overall, this is very cool. How many Sinclair and Abstract artists? Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, I like Alicia Code. Oh, dude, thank you, Drew. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Wow, that is cool. Thank you very much. But anyway, yeah, okay, so this is actually really cool artwork as well. I like this a lot. Like, this design here, that is really, that is really tight. Nice, man. Well, this is a cool track, Drew. I mean, it's kind of like a chill little future garage vibe. Sent the wrong file. Oh, true. Oops. Well, you can send the right one. That's okay. I will check. I'll check that out when you send it. But yeah, that one was cool, too. Thank you, dudes. No problem, no man. Nice, Drew. Well, even though you sent the wrong one, people like it. Can I send it again? Yeah, of course, dude. Send the right one. No worries. That was short anyway. Noise music. <laughs> Distant feelings. The Dark Echo Project. Emotions and Understanding EP. Yo, this is Dark Echoes. You weren't kidding. The thing about noise music is there's like some very dope noise music out there. And then there's also like some not so good noise music out there. Like because noise music, because it can be kind of easy to make, I feel like like not that it's necessarily easy to make noise music, but like, okay, if you just get a synth and start hitting random notes and turning random knobs, you can make noise music. And you can put that out and be like, yo, this is my noise project, like, whatever. There's, like, people who do that, and then there's, like, Merzabal. Like, there's, like, people who spend their entire lives, like, perfecting it and, like, working really hard on, like, new techniques, new ways to make noises, ways to make noises nobody's ever heard, all that kind of stuff. My EP, I got to send again there. Yeah, all good, man. But, like, yeah, that's, like, the thing with noise music. Like, it's easy. It's, it can be easy to make. And, like I said, there are ways to sort of, like, the art, to find, like, the art in it. Like I said, like, trying to make noises nobody's made before, trying to just always do new stuff, like, whatever. But, like, you can do a lot of, uh, like, you can also just put out, like, some vinyl crackle and be like, this is my noise music, you know what I mean? So that's the thing about noise music for me is I feel like it's, it's very oversaturated because of that, because it can be easy to make. And it's, like, hard to find the good side of it. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You like the see external? Yeah, it's pretty good. I've had it for like a bit over a year now. Can't complain. I built this whole YouTube channel using it. I can see myself like listening to this while I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting, for sure. Pump <coughs> music is made from... Frying eggs and slamming doors. Nice. Yeah, I feel like doing that kind of stuff is like, I feel like what's interesting. That's what makes it cool. Yo, Rosbet, thank you for the donation, dude. I suck at mixing. What do you think of the sound in general? Hey, yeah, send it to the email. I will definitely check it out. Okay, cool. Thank you, Drew. Well, this was cool. This uh, Dark Echo, Dark Echo Project. Interesting vibe there, MK23. Definitely 
definitely a nice nice thing. Drew, I didn't receive it, although I could oh there we go. Okay, I just got it. Nice. Alright, so this is the one that Drew sent meant to send. Finish track. Oh awesome. Okay, dude, I will play that. Let's hear this boy. This is the same track from before, but it's mixed a bit better, I think. Made all the sounds for this track using five reverb plugins on each sound. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll make noise music. It would be fun. worked on a bit like the way I just don't really like how it's so like tight and like fast I've sent the song okay thank you Rosebud I'll pull that up in a sec I appreciate it but yeah this is cool like this is a cool track I just think that kick isn't quite fitting like I'll go for something maybe more in the vein of like something like this maybe not that like maybe something like that kind of like softer and a little bit flatter or maybe something like this. Like those where it's a bit like bigger, you know, it's just a bit more like low end in there. How's a DJ Central kind of vibe? Yeah, I was thinking the same. Sounds like the pad from Ross and French track. Well, what happens from using Isotope Vinyl on the Master? Oh, I see. Well, yeah. Well, you know what you could do, though, is if you want to use that, is you could just group together i know then i remember you told me at one point you used fl studio because i made that custom tutorial for you um yeah i mean you could try just like grouping everything together like i know in fl studio you can put everything in like the buses try that try putting everything except for the kick into one of those buses with isotope vinyl or something because yeah that kick just i don't know it just doesn't sound quite proper but other than that this is a very cool track i like this very much also he sent through the finished version of this track, nice. Oh. It was uh the wrong ring loop. Okay, that's fine though. Let's pull up this next boy here from this next boy, this next track here from Ross Band. Let's see this. Track submission. Here's the song. Oh, I love this artwork. That is really cool. You gotta let me know who made that. That is, that's the type, I like stuff like that a lot. Yeah, this is cool. Vocal stuff reminds me of like Jacques Green type vibes. I'm just gonna cut the end. True. Good, Roscoe. Here's the artwork. 
Oh, true. Nice, dude. guy that did the the cool like swirls for Rufus Dussel and stuff. Yeah, I actually like this stuff. I've checked this stuff out before. His like motion stuff is really, really cool. Do you want to bump in the car again? Nice. Thank you, dude. I will be bumping that. If it fit the theme of this week's Weekly Essentials, I would put it in, but this week, it's French House, so... Okay, maybe next week. Yo, Buon, what's up? Well, but yeah. No, okay, this is a tight track. The thing I can tell you is, I think it's got a bit, it's like a little bit repetitive. Like, I just realized that we've kind of just been listening to a lot of the same stuff for like three minutes almost now. Like, I think you need some more, like, some more interesting stuff. Nice sound. Effect. Yeah, it sounds really good. I love the chords. That's something cool. But also, like, I think the low end is a bit, like, weird. It's kind of like, if you listen to this part. You know that kick is like, dum, 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 like really hard? You gotta chill out a little bit with the kick. Like maybe just try to find a big, a big, like, like a big kick that you don't have to compress or limit so much. Because I think that like, dum, dum, like that kind of bass tone that's coming from the kick isn't really working super well. It's kind of messy. Because it gets in the way of the bass and stuff. And if you were listening to this like in a club, you would just you would be hearing that like constantly. Like you'd just be like that. More ear candy. Yeah, I think you could use like some more ear candy. Maybe like a high string. I like that little thing, that little fill. Yeah, like overall this is a cool track, man. I just think you need to Oh, this part is cool. This could come in a lot sooner, I think. Like, try to make this from a seven-minute track to, like, a four-minute track. Maybe you can do that. Or, like, four or five minutes, I would say. Like, between there. I'm pretty fire with H-Track and Miho. Followed you both as well. Nice. More ear candy. Yeah, I can definitely use a bit more ear candy. Followed you. Yeah, this is really good, dude. Yeah, the remix lab with, with Miho. That was really cool, too. I saw that one. I have my dark kick chain on the kick and pull up flat line. We'll get the effect. <laughs> MK23, you gotta sell that rack, dude. That is fire. Nice, we got really cool track. Like I said, I think you just gotta work with that kick a bit and make it a little bit more interesting. But other than that, really good. I like that a lot, actually. Alright, let's see if we got any more submissions. Oh, okay, yeah, I got this one from Drew. This is, this is that track that I said I liked from last week. I'll play this. You guys will like this one. If you like that last track, you'll like this one. This is longer track. Yeah, but it won't. Well, it's not so much a question of, like, if it should be longer. It's, like, take the stuff you have in the seven-minute track, and really, I don't feel like it's seven minutes worth of music. I feel like it's, like, four or five minutes. That's more what I'm saying. Like, what you currently have in there would be better suited to, like, a four or five-minute track. But if you add in more stuff, you could definitely make a seven-minute track work. Ah, nice, dude. This track is so good. Nice, dude. And I like the variation there, too. You gotta send this to, like, Slav or Halcyum or one of those channels, because they would definitely upload this if they hear it. I think it gets super repetitive songs. Yeah. I just put a few. 
sell it. Don't think you can get you can tell that. <laughs> I guess you can sell that. True, maybe I don't know. Gotta track uploading the sound called B. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm off now, my dudes. Alright, peace out, Ollie. Make some good different parts that are not yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys should do you guys should do like a compilation of all the remixes or something. That would be really cool. Or like get uh whatever it's called. Do a compilation of the remixes and then get people to remix those. You can call it like remixes remixed or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just just uh bullshitting here. This send has the Emha no reply, but thanks for the books. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, dude. Well send it to Slav. He would probably upload that. Shout out to shout out to Austin. Alright, yo, so hit me up on my son club. Got any questions? Do you click chain and keep with the awesome tutorials? Love them for inspiration. Almost always start producing after CM1. Ah, nice. Oh, okay, this is just a thing. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, MK23. We'll send you something now. Alright, Patty. Can't wait to hear that, dude. Dude, there's like those little organ stabs, like. Just. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely an idea. Let's make a more interesting stab for this. And the way I'm going to do that is using serum. Send me up on the sound card because I never check. Okay. I will. If I do anything with this rack, I'll let you know, dude. Like, yeah. I might. What I might end up doing is I'll, like, if I make, like, a techno video or something, I'll, like, put it in the video. And then I'll shout you out or something like that, you know? on that and let's give it a little boost. Yeah we're starting to get there. Alright let's get some white noise. Murder stream deleted the session and save so got ah I feel you. Yeah I guess that's kinda like one thing like you're kind of uh that kind of thing could happen. Damn RIP dude that one was good too. Dude, if I made a song with T-Pain, I would never delete that, that project file ever. Like, I would just save that. Like, I would put it on a flash drive and then frame the flash drive and put it on my wall and say, and call it T-Pain project file or something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, okay, cool, Patty. I'll pull that up in a sec. Coming next. Sounds like murder. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I guess. Tell me, you know. I'm trying to make one of those like much bigger steps. Let's put it through some distortion. Hey, you guys, stop harassing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. I want to put something kind of like chaotic over this. Oh, whoops. Nah. Alright, let's see what I got. I know I have a submission here. Let's pull this one up. Because I won't pull this up before the stream ends. Or else I shall forget. Yo, a video. A video. I'm probably saying that very wrong. But thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it, dude. Alright, let's pull this one up from Patty. Patty Tune. Patty Tune. 
but we have some new deals coming out this year. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, actually, I just realized that you probably don't want to just give away the whole, the whole everybody who's about to come on. <laughs> but nice, dude. I can't wait to see. Yeah, honestly, I think you guys are, like, really doing a good job with, like, with the content and stuff. Like, when I first saw Remix Lab, I was thinking, like, that's really cool that they came up with, like, a way to sort of take, like, live streaming and make, like, a show out of it. Because, like, okay, for example, like, I'm live streaming three to four to five times a week. But that's, like, just me just basically just streaming, like, myself. You know what I mean? And a lot of other people do this, too. Like, I know a lot of people who do vlogs, for example. Like, will just do a live stream where it's just them, like, sitting, talking to the camera. Or, like, yeah, like, stuff like that. But it's really cool. Like, you guys could have done something like that. But it's cool that you guys kind of, like, have, like, ideas. Like, it's not just, like, here's a Red Bull stream. Like, we're going to just watch people drink Red Bull and talk about music or something. It's, like, it's like a show. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's interesting. That's very cool. Very forward thing. Not to just blow smoke up your uh, butt, so to speak. Yo, that sounds good, Patty. It's like very Balearic vibes. So that's good. I'm not crazy about that, like, half note, I think it is, clap. Like, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's, like, a whole, like, bar. Oh, I guess it's on the, um, yeah, so it wouldn't be half notes because it's between the two and the four, but it's now on the, I hear that now, but when you came in just straight with the clap, I'm not crazy about that. This is cool, though. It reminds me like Dennis Solta type vibes. Jamie XX sleep sound when he did that. He's got like the hi hats in that track have like a similar thing, like they filter it. Out. Hey, Zolgram, Hologram, I'm gonna show you through that. Hey, did I have a request for a video sometime? I think Steph the Visa. I probably pronounced that so wrong. Would be interesting to see what you make. Hey, thank you. Yeah, I um appreciate the kind words. But yeah, I have been thinking of doing that one for a while. That was another one that got requested a bunch on this week's weekly video request thing. I'll probably do that one soon. Yeah, it's sounds cool, Patty. The mix to use. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I was gonna say as well. I'll get to that in a second. Too, too, too. Sure. The arrangement's good. Yeah, okay, this sounds cool, Patty. Um, the only thing I can say here is like, for one, I would honestly just go into the synth loop there, I would get rid of the clap. Hey, Bob to new, thank you for subscribing. I probably said that wrong, but thank you. But yeah, like I think this is cool. I think you could probably cut this little part and just go straight into this, like here, you know? 
But other than that, like, cool, cool little house track. Like I said, it reminds me very much of, like, Dennis Sulta type vibes. Um, but yeah, I think you could probably beef it up a bit. Like, like MK23, like, I think you just need to kind of put it with, like, a reference track and just see, like, you know where the where the issues are, like what you could what you can make more powerful, what you can improve, all that kind of stuff. Play the arrangement, nice one. Do do a Ben Sterling tutorial. True, I gotta check that out. Thank you over track. Okay, cool. I just got that Luca. Cool. Well, yeah, Penny, this is cool. I like the synthy synthy house vibes. I would just keep working on it. All right, cool. So, let me just think that one through, Patty. This next one here is from Luca. I'm pretty sure that's how you would say it. I might be wrong. Hey, Julian, long time subscriber. Also, just been working on this track for a while now. Not 100% finished. Just thought I'd export it quickly and shoot it over to you. Nice. Can't wait to hear this one. Minimal Garage. Ooh. Yeah, this is cool, like minimal. Minimal vibes. Like, it definitely has that, like, garage, kind of, like, upbeat type of feel. Everyone keeps telling me to pronounce it garage. But I feel like when American people do that, it just sounds weird. I mean, no offense to any American people who pronounce it that way. I'm just saying, like, I think it's kind of weird. But this is tight. But this definitely has, like, that garage, kind of, like, upbeat vibe, but, like, with the minimal house. Ooh! I gotta do a week of weekly essentials where it's like deeper kind of vibes. Like this track, that one track from Drew that I really like. Impact from percussion loops. Um, honestly, just like all of them. I don't know, hard to say. Dress in the vengeance stuff because they have a lot of a lot of loops in there, and they're like not loops that people would really recognize if you use some of the other ones or some of the older ones. This is tight though. Rounds, yeah, like I said, it's like got that like very high energy garage type like and the drums are very like tight and small too, kinda like UK garage. Which was in USA, so pronounce it. Yeah. That's true actually though. That's a good point. 2012 UK funk. Yeah, I was thinking the same. <laughs> Yeah, this is like more like UK funky than Garage, I guess. But like, you know, Zen World's confessions are pretty good. Yeah, shout out Zen World. Hello, if you're out there. Do you splice? Yeah, I do. A ton. Sometimes I do it on the stream. Did you do a J-Rob tutorial? Swarm Drum Kit 2 has a few. Yeah. I think that Swarm made a drum kit. That is like, we are truly living in an era of like great sample packs. If we have a sample pack from like Swarm. Like it is literally easier than it has ever been to make music. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's a fact. Like,
Garaji. That's how we're pronouncing this in 2019. Minimal Garaji. That's a good question. I'm not super familiar with this track. This is a really good track, Luca. Luca, okay. The only thing I'll say is this is a bit repetitive, but at the same time, it is minimal, so that's kind of the vibe, I guess, that you would want. But I love all the percussion. Could you send me a download link to this? The last one or two. And the finish trail. Well, still, dude, this is cool. <laughs> Actually, the G is silent, so we're going to pronounce it like gra. And then you just kind of fade out the ah at the end. <laughs> I can only ever find one word vocals. Dude, where would I be able to find? Try Splice. That's definitely. They definitely got all that kind of stuff on there. Yeah, that's really cool, Luca. Send me a link to download this. I want to download that because I think I'm going to do next week's weekly essentials on like deeper, like deeper vibes. Like it's not going to be deep house, but it'll be like deeper stuff like that. And like I said, like this track, I want to put in there as well. This track is. Whew. So stuff like that. So yeah, Luca, send me a download link. Also, Drew, if you're listening to this right now, if you're still in the stream, send me a download link for this track as well, because I wanna, I wanna get on that. So I don't forget. G silent. <laughs> Ara. <laughs> Gra. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. It's not UK garage anymore. It's UK. Ara. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, I'm going to go now because I've been streaming for three hours. It is 6.05 p.m. here. Um, Thank you so much to everybody who came to the stream. The stream was amazing. I love you all so much. You guys, you guys are amazing as well. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.